Hi, this is Zishio, and welcome back to Otaku's Adventure. And yeah, I was only going to play this the one time, just as a bit of a novelty, but I quite enjoyed it. And when, it's not a very long game, and when I finished it, there's lots of endings. So I think it'd be fun to try and get at least one more. Hopefully, at least, we can have a better interaction with some of these girls. Because this main character, he is not very well, uh, he's not a very good with being a normal person i don't know but let's oh choose a chapter okay so we, we haven't done any of these yet okay let's try the cafe let's try this again okay let's ask a question before we ask do you like gundam not good let's ask um i don't know do you like programming programs really fun you can write your own game programs do you want me to teach you why don't you talk Okay, here's the tofu, and here's your water. Please enjoy. Here I go. It's tasty shit. Okay, she is gone. This is really fucked up. Maybe we should wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we waited. <laughs> I'll believe in me. She'll totally come back. She won't suddenly drop me, right? She's not going to dump me like that. I will always wait for her. Waiting all the time. Until the old days. <laughs> Wait until you're dead. Prove my sincerity to her. May. I'm waiting for you to come back. <laughs> okay, this isn't this isn't the ending I needed. Okay. That didn't work out at all. That really didn't work out at all. Okay, so, well, there's an ending. <laughs> we'll go again. So, I don't know why I chose my birthday to be the 1st of July, so I guess... I haven't... It's actually June at the minute, so I guess I'll upload the first video to coincide. So let's go again. Maybe from the very beginning. Before, I tried to do it, and there's a, a Gundam head you can make, so maybe if I make that, that will help me out. Let's skip ahead. Okay, let's try this P game again. Can we get this right? No. I mean, oh shit. No. Wow, there we go. That'll, that'll have to do. There we go. Makes less noise if you put it down the side. That's fine. Cool, I've got the same parts I got before. So I needed six parts and I've only got five. But apparently I did actually look it up. If you grab all of the tissues from the box, there is a Gundam part right at the bottom of this. I think it's 20 sheets. So I'm not even counting, but if I get rid of all this, there we go. There we go. Let's assemble. Okay, so what is this? So do we attach that? Got to finish assembling the figure fast. Okay, here we go. So the face, hang on. So that's the base, isn't it? So what goes to the bottom? That's the ball joint. That's fine. There's the face. No, maybe that. So what's next? Um, yes, yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. Face goes on. Then that. Then this bit goes on the front. There you go. That is your Gundam head. Got it. And now I can drag and drop and get that robot finished. Excellent. So I'm so touched. My figure is revived. Unexpectedly. The head was broken apart. I'm not going to allow anyone to touch my figures anymore. That is very cool. Okay, let's get this date underway. I think the date with Mei Mei is doomed. So before we took the bus, should we take the subway this time? Let's take the subway. Here's the subway station. Well, let me wait for a train right here. Waiting, waiting. Due to the increase of subway molesters, wow, please pay attention to your safety and belongings. If you see any suspicious people, please contact our staff. Have a nice trip. Okay. Who are these girls? I've seen many reports about the subway molester. And it looks like no suspect has been caught yet. I don't really want to take the subway for that reason. We need to be extra careful when we get to the train. Wow, everyone seems to be worried about the subway molesters. Hey, look at that guy over there. Why are they suddenly looking at me? <laughs> wow, this man totally looks like a molester. 
Don't look at him. Let's go to the next carriage. Oh, bye. What? I'm a molester? Is this... What? No, I'm not. You just look that bad. <laughs> you just look that dodgy. Train is now approaching. Please stand behind the yellow line. Okay, forget this. Let's get on the train. Okay, we got... We got to the cafe. Come on, Mamie. Don't leave us to die. <laughs> Do you like Gundam's no good? Programming no good. Do you think I'm handsome? It's such a stupid thing to say. Alright. Do you think I'm handsome? Although, I don't know if I am. But I feel good about myself. Yeah. Here's the noodles. This is not working out. She's totally gonna go. Off she goes. Okay, forget this. Let's come back to my senses. Yeah, she totally ditched us. So I think, let's move on to the next scenario and hopefully we'll do better okay we're in the convenience store and there's this girl we actually did okay oh what should we buy let's buy a, a screwdriver yep and some water there is a scenario later he asked for a screwdriver so that should do there we go yeah there's a light fixture that almost crushes her we save her but we did a silly thing we offered to lick her ankle and that's that's just not something you should offer to do. Here it comes. Here it comes. Why is the light on the ceiling shaking? Oh. The light fell. The girl's going to get hit. What do I do? That's it. Push her. Watch out. What are you doing? You molested me. Someone help. <laughs> no. Because of the light above you? Yeah, this thing. You okay? Uh, it seems to be nothing bad. I'm sorry, I'll fix this right away. I'm so sorry. I'm okay. Uh, thanks, I guess. You're welcome. Nothing is better than your safety. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, my ankle hurts, though. I've twisted it. What do I do? Okay, let me lick you. That was what we said, and she obviously ran away. Let me take you home. You sprained it. Can I take you home? It seems to be sprained a little bit. Please help me rest outside the store. Okay, hold my shoulder. This is new. Finally, we're making progress. I feel better now, thanks. Not at all. Do you want me to take you home? I mean, no thanks. My home's nearby. I can go home by myself from here. But it's not easy to walk up to the stairs with your broken ankle. There's elevators in my apartment. It's a bit awkward. Okay, how can I call you? What's your name? Eh, uh, sorry. I should introduce myself first. We are Ushio. What's up? I'm a regular uh, otaku. You shouldn't have said that though. Otaku? Yeah. Like a kind of always staying at home kind of person. Playing games and making models and reading manga and stuff. My self introduction seems to not be working very well. Call me Waifu. Really? <laughs> I heard that otakus like to call girls waifu, don't they? I mean, yeah, you're totally right, what? Well, I'm gonna go home now, bye. Well, okay, waifu, bye. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Okay, forget this. I don't know if I'm ever gonna meet her again. Oh, well, it's too early. Let me find a place to have some fun. Oh, I remember there is a place that we haven't been to for a long time. Let's do it. And it's the arcade. Okay, so let's try and beat this girl at the arcade again. Okay, there's this. There's also this guy called Michael. So maybe we can help Michael as well. I think he's the one who wants the screwdriver that we bought. So let's have a chat. So he's thirsty. So give him the water first. Have a drink. There you go. Michael drinks the water. All good. I'm skipping through this. Seriously, if you want to see all this story, part one is where you need to be. A game machine downstairs is broken. I want to find someone to repair it, but my eye-shaped screwdriver blade was lost when I repaired the air conditioner last time. If you're free, help me keep an eye out for it. No problem. Okay, I've got this screwdriver. Take it. No? Is that no good? Shit, no good. My mistake, I assumed wrongly. So, which is the one that's actually broken? Maybe we can fix it. It's this one, isn't it? 
Broken machine. Okay, get that chair out of the way. Let's take the screwdriver. No. There we go. Screwdriver. Oh, okay. Oh, we removed one screw. So now we need the other screwdriver. Is there... A okay, let's try and find the screwdriver before we do anything else then. An eye-shaped screwdriver blade may be in the air conditioning, but it's too high to reach. Cool, I have got this chair. So if I can I put it here? There we go. At last it's high enough to investigate the air conditioner. Oh, what can I find? There is the screwdriver. This is really cool. So does that mean that we can now open this thing? Okay. No. Screwdriver blade? No. Oh, can we, do we have to change the handle? This actually has a handle. So can we change... There we go, swapped it. Good, good, good. Now we can open that. What is this? It looks like a slot to put something in. I mean, it does. But what do we put in it? We can put a battery in it. There we go. Power bank just fits the slot. What? Oh, wow. What did we do? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. We set the place on fire. What happened? Why was there a sudden explosion? You just put your battery into like some kind of electrics and bad things happened. Oh god, did I just blow the place up? You totally did. Unconflagration? Wow, I need to run. The front door won't open though. It's blocked by fire. I've got to find another exit. I mean, a heap of burning attack. <laughs> the girl with the double ponytail. She's dead. <laughs> oh shit. These guys are on, their corpses are on fire. That that is good. Okay, we need to hmm, no smoking. We need to leave. Is there a way we can get out without dying? Dude, Michael, help. Michael, Michael, something's gone wrong. Uh what's up? It seems kinda noisy downstairs. There's a fire on the ground floor. What? Let's run. The fire on the first floor is so fierce. The exit's blocked. So I came to the second floor and decided to jump through the window. Okay, the windows on the second floor are locked. I can't open it. We can smash them with something. No, it's bulletproof. What? <laughs> Why did you set bulletproof glass windows here? It's not the time to argue about what kind of windows are set. By the way, how about other customers downstairs? I mean, they're kind of all dead. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do we do? Are we going to get burned to death now? There's only one way out now. Okay, what way? Actually, I've got the ability to transport somebody to a different world. Excuse me? But I can only transport one person at a time. You're younger and stronger than me, so I think the only person is you. What do you want me to do in a different world then? There should be a magical artifact. As long as you get it, you can come back and save us. It's all on you. What the hell? Uh, 10 minutes equals to 100 years in that world. Enough time for you to find the artifact. Oh, okay. You should kind of explain it more clearly before you transport me. Um, but I guess he didn't. What is going on? What is this place? Am I, did I really come to a different world? Um, it turns out that there is such a thing in this world. But there's nothing so shocking. After all, this kind of plots too much. As an otaku, I can definitely handle this. No, it should be more like handy. What is this? This monster's just appeared. Oh, it's a weak monster. Yeah, it's, the, yeah, it's a slime, isn't it? This kind of thing. Bring it on. Oh, there's three now. Oh, they keep coming. The situation does not seem very good for me. Oh shit, what are we- oh, we're fighting. The enemy launched a preemptive attack. Oh shit, no. No, one more hit like that, I'm dead. And I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> Wiped out. That- what? What? <laughs> oh, this game is so weird. I was defeated so easily. 
some kind of attack or am I? I can't even beat the low level monsters. It's kind of disgraceful. Oh, is is that it? Is Oh, oh no, no. I heard a magic spell. Hello? Are you okay? I see you've been lying here for a while now. Oh, okay. Am I still alive? I just didn't get killed by some monsters. Yeah, you're actually dead. I'm using a, a revive medicine to bring you back to life. Oh, there's really something like a, re a revival medicine. You don't know about these drugs. It seems you're really a hero who's from another world. A hero? You just said that I'm a hero? Well, how do I put this? This forest is called Hero Forest. It's a forest that will send heroes from time to time. But seeing your performance, I'm not sure that you're a hero. That's, yeah, it's kind of true though. But there's still a way to tell if you're a hero. Okay, how's that? What way is this? Come with me. Wow. <laughs> this is a toilet. That is not an ordinary toilet. That is the toilet that proves that it's eligible to be a hero. It's the hero toilet. Okay. How do we prove themselves? Do you do it by pooing? No. You don't know until you get there. Okay, this toilet seat's so high. It's indeed in the style of a king. Go ahead and try it. Needless to say. Okay. I'm coming up. There's a plunger stuck in it. Do you see the toilet plug? Yeah, I see it. Is this the toilet blocked? As long as it's a hero, you can easily pull out the plug. Okay. Try it out quickly. Wait, if I put it out, that thing's going to be full of shit, right? That's the arrangement of God. It's a sacred thing. It won't be dirty, believe me. Okay, then here I go. Pull that thing. Oh, it's a sword. Nice. Got it. Oh, God. Hooray. This is the original appearance of the shit sword. <laughs> Even the cloak appeared. This person is really a hero. At last. I finally waited. It is God's arrangement. My destiny will be given to this man. Hero, close your eyes. What? Why? No time to explain. Okay, fine. She's going for it. She just met us, so I guess she likes us more than the other girls we've met in this game. This is... It will be done very soon. Oh, explosion. So soft. The girl's lips are so soft. Okay. I am yours. What? Can you just explain this for a sec? I've signed a contract with you just now. A contract? What contract's that? It's a contract that only the witch and the hero can sign. You're a witch? Yeah. What contract is this? The contract is you can only be with me in the future and cannot be interested in any other female. Otherwise... Otherwise you'll explode. <laughs> what? Since ancient times, the witch and the hero are destined to be together. Even if they're ugly, you must accept this arrangement. Otherwise, the world cannot be saved. So, we're going to save the world now. No, because now we are very peaceful, and there's no devil. Then why should I sign a contract with you? You dislike me that much? Well, not that much. It's just that I don't even know your name. Oh, my name is... <laughs> Smile face. Okay. How do you pronounce it? It's it's just that. Okay. So what's your name? I mean, at least I have a name that's spelled with letters. What? what? The name, it doesn't sound like a hero. I'm sorry. But no matter what, you're indeed a hero now. And we signed a contract, so you can't mess around with others. 
Otherwise, I'm going to explode and die. That's right. Okay, although we don't have to save the world. But I'm here for you for a reason. Okay, so what's that? I'm going to talk about it later. After the, leaving the forest, there's going to be a rookie village to the west. I'll tell you about the situation after we arrive. Okay. Okay. So... Okay, point and click. This is how we move. So there's like a, a rock here and a river. Oh shit, random battles. No, 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 no. I wasn't ready for this. Uh oh, preemptive attack. We're going to get killed again. All right, you fight this thing. Bam. Yeah, fight, fight, fight. Dead. A slime died. Okay, fight this thing. Cool. We won. And we got some money. That's kind of cool. I didn't think it'd be like a proper RPG. So, wait, what is down? What is that? Shall we go to town? Is this Rookie Rookie Village? Welcome to Rookie Village. This, uh, this is Rookie Village. All right, this is definitely Rookie Village. Okay, so why is this place full of corpses? Well, those are the villagers of Rookie Village. Okay. Everyone. Everyone's dead. Yeah, because they're all rookies. They're not good at fighting against monsters, making money, so they finally starve to death. Okay. <laughs> you might be tired after the busy day. Why don't I take you for a break? Okay, let's go somewhere. Yeah, we don't want to starve to death. Wow, this place is a shithole. Are we going to rest here? There's nothing except quilts. I feel that I'm going to rest badly in here. Why are you going to feel like that? Isn't it possible to recover all HP and MP without a sleep? The different world really is a different world. Okay, so how much does it cost to sleep here? It's free. Because the owner of the inn's dead. <laughs> oh, okay. It's definitely Rookie Village. Okay, so we'll take a break. I'm kind of tired. Okay then. Good night. Good night. This game is so weird. It's so weird. What is going on? You said in the forest that although there's no need to save the world, what else is there? It's true that there's no need to save the world, but I hope that you can save me. Save you? Okay, what troubles have you got? I've been waiting for the emergence of the hero, because I haven't been in love until now. Oh, doesn't matter. I haven't been in love either. The witch can only love the hero. It's fate. I've been waiting for a hundred years here. A hundred years? Yeah, a hundred years. There have been no new heroes appearing in the hero forest. I'm going to wait for the hero in the forest every day. Sometimes some people are going to appear in, in the forest. But unfortunately, they're not heroes. Recently, I met a man called Michael. But he can't put out the sword. Wow. Michael's here. Does he have a cloak as well? That's what he made. Yeah, year after year, I've not given up. Finally, you appeared. I hope that you can stay here forever. Okay? I mean, okay. Otherwise, I'm going to be sad here all on my own. Promise me, don't leave me, okay? Okay, I promise. Thanks. Okay, let's, let's take a break then. Don't worry, I won't leave. Okay, I believe in you. Good night. Okay. It's just fine to stay here. I've decided. Um, no, I seem to have forgotten something important. Yeah, Arcade Hall. I still have to find artifacts to go back and save everyone. But how come? Well, we'll wake up and think about it in the morning. Okay. I feel full of strength now. Hey, last night I promised to stay. I clearly have got something to do. Find the artifacts and go back and save the arcade hall. How can I casually promise um, that I'd not go back? But last night, she was really sad. I can only lie to her for a while. Okay, morning. Did you sleep well last night? Yeah, pretty good. It's much better after the rest. Okay, this is for you. Oh, we got, an, we got like a, a touchpad. Nice. And this is... 
this is the hero's pad. Just click on it and you'll see everyone's HP and MP status, including how much money you have. Is it? Wow, it seems convenient. Also, I'm going to give you this. Oh, happy HP. This is an item to restore your health. After opening the hero pad, drag the item from the items bar to the character corresponding in the hero's pad and you can recover HP. Cool. In the battle, dragging the item and dropping to the character also can recover HP. That's it, thanks. You're welcome. I should thank you for promising me last night. Okay. Trust me, I promise. And by the way, since I came here, I want to look around and be familiar with the world. Okay, so where shall we go? Um, nowhere special. I'm just going nearby. Well, we'll go together then. If you're tired, please go back to the inn and click on the quilt to rest. Okay. So let's check out this. We are level 1 and we've got 57 coins. This game has taken a twist that I was not expecting. It has turned from a visual novel into a full-on RPG. And I guess this gameplay is going to continue a lot further than what I originally thought. And I'm really happy with this. This game is so weird and really fun. So yeah, this is Usho signing off and hopefully I'll see you next time.